Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, coming to you with another uh, plugin demo today. Today we are looking as per the winning votes from last week at the uh, Code Red free channel strip plugin by a company called Shattered Glass Audio. Um, and this is kind of carrying on in the thread of EQ. Um, yesterday we did a video on two EQ moves you can do at home uh, for a bit of vocal. Um, so go check out that video from yesterday. But yeah, just quickly, this plugin is a free channel strip plugin. Um, it's got a high shelf, a mid parametric, a low shelf, uh, a characteristic kind of switch here, an input gain, an output fader, um, and then a dry wet um, parameter just to kind of put how much effect you want on the signal. So it's just like a blend knob um, essentially. So I've got this drum loop here. Um, I'll turn the plugin off. Um, very basic drum loop just from uh, Apple Loops, nothing special there. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna kind of put this plugin on and mess around with a few of the different features so you guys can hear what it does. Uh, one thing you will hear is that um, because it's emulating a like analog console, if I boost a lot of the high end uh, and it's particularly audible on the low end, uh, you'll start to get a bit of saturation and distortion, which is part of the characteristic. So if you are kind of you know, trying to get an EQ that's going to be super clean and transparent, this isn't the one for you. Uh, this is supposed to emulate a uh, much more classic console. So I'm going to mess around a little bit with the uh, EQ so you guys can kind of hear uh, what it does. One thing I will say quickly is that I'm doing this in mono. So even though the uh, demo track is in stereo, i am got the plugin set to mono, uh, which allows me to kind of link these parameters. So if it was in stereo like this, uh, by a little ST here, I would only be able to control the left side um, or the right side kind of uh, non-independently, sorry, independently. Um, but now by setting it to mono, I can control these uh, in a linked fashion, which is a lot easier. And then when I'm done kind of doing whatever EQ moves or whatever I want or whatever saturation or anything, uh, I can set it back to stereo and the signal will go back to stereo. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it on mono for now and uh, let's mess around with this. Cool, so as you can hear, there's some cool uh, kind of EQ functions there to create like a bit of a scoop sound. Uh, I increased the input gain and brought down the output fader to saturate it a whole bunch more. And you can see it hitting the VU uh, meter and these numbers above one here. Um, and it's kind of saturating. So now I've got the, um, so now that it's in mono uh, to get the controls, I can switch this back to stereo. Uh, and what you'll hear is that it will go from a mono signal to a stereo signal. And now with the plugin off. Cool, so if there are any like kind of um, level imbalances there that can be made up here uh, with the output. Um, so that was a little bit quiet. Um, Cool, and then one more trick uh, I wanna show you guys. So once you are kind of happy uh, with this, that's cool, and you can kind of use that as a, uh, yeah, as like a finished product. But one trick that I did find um, with this plugin, I'm just gonna reload it so that it loads its default. Um, one cool trick that I did find was to leave it in stereo and then EQ the left and the right side differently to create a sense of width. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use the same demo track. And here on the left-hand side channel, I'm gonna boost um, the half frequencies and then here on the right hand side channel I'm going to boost uh, the mid frequencies just like this um, and what you'll hear is that when I turn the plugin uh, on it's going to create a sense of uh, width just because something different is happening in the left ear and something else is happening in the right ear um, so it's not just the same EQ boost on each side which does kind of like in a weird way kind of separate your brain um, into two different sides and then helps you sound, it helps it sound like something's wider. So uh, I'll leave it off and I'll turn it on. You guys can hear what that sounds like.
cool so right there you can see it i mean it's quite subtle um it's not like a like a widener plugin but it is just a a nice quick way to um get something to sound a little bit wider if you load this onto a stereo channel cool guys so uh yeah this plugin is uh called code red free by a company called shattered glass audio uh it's free to download on their website just search code red free um go over to the website and download it um, as always thank you for watching please like and comment uh down below on the video and share this with anyone uh, who you feel might be able to benefit from it